hey guys let's do share feature in react native expo app with this feature you'll be able to share maybe images or documents or text from your app into any other app like whatsapp or you want to download it or share it to someone on telegram on twitter anywhere i've seen a lot of people run around stack overflow trying to do this feature into their app but it's very difficult for them so today i decided to make it simple hit the subscribe button leave a like and share this video to your developer friends to help them build that project let's get into it are you ready okay Elan. ready so this is my expo and the react native project here i just have my home screen and i just ha i don't have much here i just have uh empty components nothing is working yet it's just a button and the normal react native styling so this is where we'll start from so the first thing we'll have to do is bring up our terminal and install some packages and the first one we'll be installing is expo assets next we'll also need to install expo sharing and we'll do that like this and once it's installed we can go on to import these packages at the top of our components here so we we'll import all as sharing from expo sharing then we'll import assets from expo assets which we just installed these two and then we'll import all as file system from expo file system which is installed by default if you are using expo for your app now the next thing we're going to be doing is to create our state for our image uri now if what we are sharing is an image or a document the next step we'll have to take is to set up a use effect so we can be able to load the document or the image into our app before we can share it so this process is going to happen once we load our app, once we open our app, it's going to automatically load that document or image we want to share and then before we can share it. If we are sharing a text, we will not need to load it but since we are sharing an image here, we will have to load it and this is how we will do that. So this is the particular place where we will load our image from. As you can see, I am passing in the image here. So if we were getting our image from a link, we can also pass the link inside this particular place and our load asset function will download the image for us before we can be able to share it. Now the next thing we'll have to do is to create our function that we'll use to share our image. So we'll call it share image and it will be an asynchronous function. I don't know why I keep making that mistake and writing my arrow function. So we'll use our try and catch block here. So this is our function which we'll use to share the image and if we save that for now it will not still be a function now because we have not allowed the button to be able to call the share image function so that's what we're going to do now. We'll just go to the touchable opacity button and on press we will pass the share image. And once we save that if we click on the share image button you would see now that the image which we have on our screen here which we are sharing is able to be shared now we can copy we can save image we can do a whole lot of things if we have whatsapp and other apps installed on our simulator you'll see them here to be able to share this image to those apps but because i don't have any apps on my simulator i'm that's why i'm not seeing any of this stuff so that is it from this video guys please subscribe leave a like and don't forget to share the video stay blessed